Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up a works cited page in MLA style in Office 365. So this is kind of a continuation of this other video that I had posted um, where it shows you how to set up the paper in general, including the header. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, you probably should watch that one first. So once you are done writing your paper in MLA style, then you need to put in a works cited page, which includes um, if you've cited anything inside your paper, you need to have it on your works cited page. And so I'm going to just again show you the, the formatting in Microsoft 365 and how to do that. So uh, the first thing I want to just double check on everything is um, so here at the end of the the page. So I want to go to uh, layout, and I want to go to margins. Make sure that we're still one inch all the way across. Good. Um, I want to make sure that when I go to the home button, we're still at times the Roman size 12. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. Now, the first trick I'm going to show you is that the works cited page starts at the top of its own page. And there is a very helpful tool that can um, save you a lot of headache in, in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor at the very end of the, 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 the last thing that I've written for my paper. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to click on page break and that'll move the um, it'll basically I'll say okay anything after this point goes on to the next page okay now if when we set up our paper before we set the indentations to be coming over on the first line half an inch works cited does it differently so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layout okay and I'm going to go to these three dots, paragraph options. Okay, still want it left aligned, but I'm going to change this from first line or whatever it says. I want this to be hanging, hanging indent. Okay, very important, hanging indent. That's for the works cited page. And we do that before we even type anything else. Okay, boom. Okay, now it moved the cursor all the way back to the left. However, the first thing we're going to put at the top of the page is works cited. So I'm going to go to the home, go to the text alignment, center it, and it is works cited. It's not in bold, it's not capitalized, it's not in, well, it is capitalized. It's not in bold, it's not in italics, it's not uh, underlined, it's not in quotation marks, and both words are capitalized. And it's not we, it's not were excited, it's works cited. Okay. Now, once I've done that, then I'm going to hit the enter button. Boop. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to, still under all, under home. I'm going to go and do left align. All right, so now I need to put in some sources. Now, again, there's vid different videos that shows you how to find sources and how to whatever. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of sources that I found. So let's say I was researching the themes on the short story, The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. So I found a couple of scholarly sources here. Okay, but here's one on uh, the lottery. Now, a lot of these scholarly uh, places that you can find have like this cite button. So we want to click on cite. And I want to make sure I'm using the latest edition at MLA. And then I'm going to highlight this whole thing. Okay. And I'm going to hit control C on my computer. Hold, hold down the control button and then click C. That copies it. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my document. And then here, I'm going to hit, hold down the control button and hit V as in Victor, and it pastes it. Okay, so there it is. Now, there's something wrong here, okay, which we'll get to in just a second, okay. And then I'm going to hit enter, and now I'm going to find another source, okay. And here's another thing on something about Shirley Jackson, the author of the uh, whatever. So and then I'm going to click the site button here. Okay, and this one I need to make sure that I'm choosing whatever. Make sure you use MLA 9th edition. Again, I'm recording this on the 17th of September 2023. Okay, so I'm going to, again, highlight the whole thing. And guess there is a copy button, but I'm just highlighting the whole thing. Control C, go back to my document, and then Control V as in Victor. Okay, now we've got two problems here. Number one, Okay, 
Pop quiz. What font and size should the text be? Um, Times New Roman. Oh, look what we got here. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to highlight all of this and change that to Times New Roman size 12. Okay. Now, the other issue that we have is that the sources for Works Cited should be listed alphabetically by the last name of the author. And if, it's, if there is no author, then it is the, by the name of the title of the article. So I've got these in the wrong order. Well, that's just pretty easy to fix. It's going to highlight the first source and copy it and then go down and then I'm going to paste it and then just delete this one here. Boom. Okay. Now you'll notice that this is all double spaced, all double spaced. Okay. Cause again, if we have, if we go to layout again, if you haven't checked this box right here, don't add space between paragraphs of the same style, then it's going to add, oops, it's going to add extra spaces. Extra spaces are bad. Everything should be double spaced here. Okay. So the gap here between here and here is too big. And the gap between here and here is too big. So to fix that, you just simply highlight the whole thing, go to layout, go to the three dots, go to paragraph options, and don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. And it puts it there. Okay. Now, when you're all done, okay. So what's going to happen is that you go to, um, you're going to go to file and then basically save as you're going to download it as a pdf okay and then for those of you who missed out on the first video because it's oh, the first video is so much fun you'll notice there is the header you'll notice that there is the paper here and there is the works cited thing down here okay now one of the cool thing i want to show you about this about the idea of having this like why, why did we have that remember when we put that page break here well let's say we wanted to add more information okay we're like oh i got more information i need to add okay uh yeah okay well guess what when i've done that because i you know whenever as long as i've had the last thing here is the page break notice that as i added the information it didn't push the works side of page down if i just use the enter button boom 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 to add stuff then it can but i but if i've used this uh page break then it actually just makes it start on the next page so that's like bonus um yeah you're welcome all right so there is a video on how to set up the works cited page in mla formatting in um office 365 all right there you go